Yep, we are here. We made it to the flight. We, made we were running a little late, didn't know if we were going to make it or not. Yep, yes ma'am. I need these things right here. You can watch the TV. That's one thing I like about Delta, man. Delta got some TVs on there. American Airlines used to have them a lot, but, but Delta, they, you know Delta they stay do. with them TVs. Yeah. Unless you're getting on one of them small, short flights. But uh, yeah, we on our way out the country, man. We told ourselves we was gonna start recording. We gonna do a couple's traveling vlog, right? What, what channel is this gonna be for? Yeah, for, uh, yeah, traveling. Yeah, traveling vlog, cause we travel a lot. And then uh, we wanna put people on game with what to do and places to stay. We always looking up Just a little bit about um, the place. And you know, we always, we always YouTube when we're going to a place and we wanna know what's going down. So I just wanted to hip y'all up about what we do, you know, as couples. And um, yeah, how it was going down. So we headed to Tulum. Well, we flying into Cancun and then we getting a cheap rental, which I'm gonna tell you about in this next part. But um, we on our way to Tulum. First, I'm gonna eat my soup and that's me. That was for me, baby. You only I wanna try it. Oh, you didn't bring any fork yeah, for you to with I did got a fork. It's in my pocket, but I ain't tell you about that. You understand what I'm saying? I just wanna try a little bit, you know, I don't like it. But yeah, we on our way, man. So I'll see y'all. We about to take off. It's about a four hour flight. You know, we coming from Minnesota, so straight flight, and uh, we'll be there now. See you in a second. See Get out my pocket. <laughs> Long flight, but we made it. It's very Cancun. dark. I think you have to be on the side for the It's light. all good. You can see it. We made it. Not much. Still gotta go to customs. Mm -hmm. I took yeah. a long nap. You did? We still gotta go through customs, y'all. And then, um, yeah, we here. We made it. A sweet flight. Let's hey, see what. I'm let's see what's to offer. This is our first time staying at an Airbnb, right? Yeah. So, so we'll we see. Have, yeah, we, we've heard good things. Like we, we went on TikTok and we saw a lot of people do Airbnbs, and it's not. It don't look that bad, and it has good reviews. So why not try it out? I know trying to hear that. <laughs> Okay, so we just got in here, and my man's right here. He gave us the best rental. What's it? What is it? Euro car? Euro car. Euro car. Euro car? Yeah, Euro car. All right, they the one that caught us our, our attention. Literally, right when we walked through the baggage, um, they were right there. Everyone was trying to get us. Everybody like over here. We cheaper. We cheaper. We cheaper. I felt like a fiend. I felt like a fiend on a block full of drug dealers. But um, you know, everybody hustling, everybody trying to get to them things first. Yeah, they want. So it's a part of the game, and I respect it. But I ain't gonna lie, dude down the window had a little cheap. You know what I mean? The rental was cheap. Three days for um, under a hundred and hundred five dollars. Mm -hmm. Flat rate. Well, that's what he told me right here. So we gonna wait until we get to the uh, to the window of wherever he's taking us, and then we are gonna really figure out how much it is. They say it's 105, but we're gonna see. So we probably on our way. They're gonna put us in a um what's that called? Like a little little shuttle to the to the car spot. It ain't too far. It's probably like five minutes from here because we did this last time. So I'm literally I'm already been down the roof. Ready? Yeah. Oh he right here. My my driver right here already. About to get it brewski. My man. Hey, hey guys, welcome boss. to you. My man, that's my man right there. We good. Already here, AC hitting. Smooth transition. It was very quick, thank God. Yeah, literally, this is how I get down. This is how I get down. Here's your ID, put your ID up. Ooh, dang, I can't show that. So my thing is, I always want to get straight off. When I get off that plane, I want to get straight to where I'm going. And she likes to check bags and stuff, so we'd be waiting there for like because a whole hour. Last female, time we waited a whole hour. As a female, you but can understand that I, I ain't trying to wait. Lotion, I'm trying to get right to it. Everything. I'm the only one that thinks about the little things. You don't yeah, think about anything. I'm the one that I walk right like, to the corner store with. They, which they already know, people like me have the little things. So they got them little pharmacist, pharmacist stuff. Yeah, but I'm. I, they got I, little toothbrushes, little branded, deodorant. I use branded. See, it's all branded things. in America. They got better stuff, and it's the same thing. I don't mix. And it's cheaper. Well, we from America where every it's brands. Everything's brand. You can have the same stuff as Gucci. 
but it'll be the same price out no, here. No, but I'm, t I'm talking about Luchy, products, like products. skin products and everything, you know? So you, you don't think they got the best products out here? I don't think so, not for my skin tone. All right, we out. Um, you know what I'm saying? We out, we off to get the rental, so let's see what it is. I knew it, y'all. We been finessed. We been finessed. Finessed two times. Two times. So this is what happened, y'all. I asked them at the airport. I'm like, hey, is this the final price? Like everything. Yeah, 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 puppy. Yeah, yeah, C, C, C. Just like I thought. It came out to 220 bucks. 220. Double the price he told me. All these fees, insurance, what, in, taxes. It's not even full, full coverage. It's not even full coverage, yeah. Full coverage. We got hustled. But that's, I, I expected that. But on, on another note, it's still cheaper than um, it it's still cheaper than any other rental place in my eyes. 220 for three days. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Z. We bring it back on Tuesday. Yeah. It's still cheap. $220, y'all. So flight hit me, the car hit me. Z Airbnb L. hit me. So pretty much I'm down right now, y'all. <laughs> so um I'm counting my dollars. 220 for the rental. There you have it, y'all. Cancun. That's the one. The yeah, one. Euro car, 220. Said 34, that's it? Yeah. Make sure to take them pictures. Damn, I thought this was a midsize. Them pictures made it look big. Yep, I see that dent, baby. Come get a close up. So, um, this is it. This is our rental, y'all. We about to load up and head to Tulum. This is what we riding in. They said all the G-Wagons were sold out, so this is what it's left with. I'm capping. I'm capping. Let's get it. Let's get this show on the road, baby. On our way. We on our you way. Me. I he was gonna me. See, I need to be driving. This is a. This is why I need my license. I need to holler at the DMV. She's already complaining. She ain't even drove out the airport. <laughs> But um, yeah, they got a lot of good advertisements for food. Did we go there, Ilios? Sounds so familiar. Uh huh. Sound familiar? Look familiar? Really? Are we ready to go? Oh what? wait. I don't know what we gonna do this trip, so um, we gonna keep y'all up to speed. So uh, yeah. So what we do, y'all gonna? It's like y'all there with us. Yeah. So, you know, um, experience to them. I think you set up a couple things, but first we're headed to our Airbnb. And we I usually get hotels in Tulum. Thing, implied that karma but this time we did an airbnb so this is a whole new experience for us so we're gonna see how this goes yeah. hopefully it's dope you know what i'm saying and um we'll see it was cheaper though it was cheaper than the hotel so and it looked dope you know what i mean so let's see we driving it's about our airbnb is approximately 100 miles from the airport two hours and 15 minutes but my driving will make it an hour and a half so you know that's smooth. We're on your way. In the first place. I'm about to. Shoot, what you mean? You about to switch seats quick as heck. Yep. So let's get it. Oh, so they, he said she said they're building a new road. Oh. I that, think there's that one, no? Yeah. A long, long. Playa de Carmen, that's a dope place too, y'all. They got like a mall there, they got like a nice little street. So they said that we can go to Zona Hotelera Cancun yeah. and hang out around there. So oh, that's yeah. like that's where all the hotels and everything is. You and know? this is for an update for people. I don't know if y'all coming to Cancun soon, Tulum soon, I mean. Um, make sure that you head back to the airport. Uh, I know it's like a two hour drive, but be, uh, be just come towards this like way earlier. Extra, Cause we missed our flight extra. last time. Yeah, so like make sure y'all check that stuff. Google Maps and see what time, yeah, um, how much. Um, traffic there is and uh, just be here early. It's better to be early because we missed our fight last time. I forgot to tell you. Yeah, yeah we headed out. We headed to Tatum. So if I see anything dope, I, I record it, but you know, this is what it is. We on the road. It is what it is. Okay, y'all. This is the entrance of our villa. We are. This is our second day here. Not villa, this is an Airbnb. Airbnb. Let me stop capping. Airbnb, this is our second day here. As soon as we arrived, it was dark, so I was like, uh, let's not record because we want to show y'all what's really going on. Yeah, it was really dark. This is like some type of patio area. Some nice little bungalow type vibe. 
I don't know if that even made sense. But here goes the pool to the right side. Got a little pool of rules. It's a nice little pool. Yeah, I didn't see how deep it was last night. Shower before entry. Swim at your own risk. So pretty much what they're saying is there's no lifeguard on duty. Um, As you can see, she's over there taking pictures, and I told her it's video time. She ain't listening. This is something to wash your feet off. A little vibe. Got a little grill over here if y'all want to make some, some barbecue. Okay, let's move on to our room. It's nice. It gives you a real jungle-ish feel. It's a nice little jungle-ish feel. Mm -hmm. The jungle is jungling. Mm -hmm. Land before. I was about to say land before time. Why are you that, going that way? Because I want to show them the fireplace. Oh, I you were to the neighbors. This is the fireplace. Now we got neighbors. Yeah. Well, you know, you come out here, tell some stories. Some scary stories. About being lost in the jungle. We're walking to what? our room now. What is that? That's a bathroom. Pool That's the house. pool house. That's probably, you know, you wash your hands. And then you probably go shower over there as well okay. before you get your dirty self in the pool. First not of you. All, I'm not talking about you. I'm just saying in general. Okay. So this is to our spot, our place. Da -da -da. Yep. The best part. Look Got at some nice little steps. This is our, How many windows it's our dinner area. Yep. Nice little Let's walk in. Here. Oh, yeah. Let me show them this. Hammock. Got a hammock. You know, this is our own little relax, get on a book. Yeah, Listen to all the birds chirp. Him, I go over there. When I get tired of him, I just go over mm -hmm. there. But that's never. She always <laughs> wants to be right up under the boy. This is our room. So y'all can see, there's two sides. The left side is the kitchen. Let me just bring y'all to the kitchen. It ain't that big. Start with the kitchen. Start with the kitchen. This is the kitchen. You but know, as y'all can see, like they got everything. Cups. They got the blenders. They got all the utensils these, you need. So if you cups, need to bring your so. own food here. These coffee mugs are like made all natural. They're made out of pottery. You know what I'm saying? They make these themselves. I can tell. Yeah. That's dope. Right here we have more also pottery. more and plates too. Plates, Bowls. all of that good stuff. Super. I love the details. Everything that a woman needs to cook. Organics and they got everything some fresh the woman needs. Oh yeah, they gave us some fresh food. I thought these was fake at first, but not. They were real, real avocado. Yeah. And whatever these is. Yeah, so I don't know. I might be cooking something up in here. Mm -hmm. Who knows? But we can make drug. coffee. This Airbnb is more of a home vibe out here, you know? I'm used to staying in hotels. I ain't going to cap. In the bed. The bed is nice and cozy. Big. I love it. And then let's go to the bathroom. And this is the bathroom, y'all. Nice shower. Warm water. I don't know what these are, but I'm sure they're not for hanging your panties up. But um, she's from Dominican Republic, so she's going to do it anyways. And they got a nice little um, the shampoo. Everything is made out of organic honey, too. That's what I wanted to tell you. That was pretty dope. Mm-hmm. Yep. There you have it, y'all. This is where we at. This is where we stand in Tulum. This is really dope, though. I love it. All right, y'all. So we're gonna go on with our day. We're gonna um, we're gonna go and experience the city. So I'm gonna show y'all a little bit about so we're the um, the area that we're in. So if you do decide to stay here in Tulum, you know you can see what's close and uh, what's near, and the food spots and et cetera, et cetera. Because we're gonna be trying them all anyways. So see you on a second. All right. So we just pulling out. We just left the gates, not gates, the rope. The rope. <laughs> but um, I'm going to show y'all. It's like some residentials over here. I see a couple cribs. But we right off in the cut. Yeah, what I mean to people jungle. that don't know that lingo is um, we're secluded. Right. We're <laughs> secluded in the area right off of the main road, which is right up here. But I just want to show y'all how far the drive was because it's not that far. It's a pretty close drive, 
and then also there's like many stores like right here it's walking distance really i don't know the kilometers but as y'all can see we've only been in the car for less than a minute yeah it's like 0. 0.4 so miles look at, there's a little 0. convenience 0. store right here and i want to bring y'all over here because we seen this last night yeah it's a little store right yeah, there it's a little residential area and, um, this is like their area of hanging out. Yeah, this is like where the city comes. They got a basketball court. Yep, like I want to show y'all. Yep, you see that right there? Tulum, what's it called? That stuff right there, it looks like a stadium or something, but that's yeah. like a basketball area. They be playing soccer in there last night, basketball. <clears throat> they was playing music. Yep, here goes the little... Um, they have a little other game stuff. Yeah, they got some... Yep. That's the people. Basketball hoop need a new net. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Donate a net. I'm gonna put the net up for them and make sure they right. That's the least I can do for this town. You know what I'm saying? When Weezy come by, but now some real stuff. This is uh over here. They got like the food spot, but they're not open right now yet. Yeah, they sold. Oh, well, uh, they sell dresses. They right? got they ice cream. Clothes. They got ice cream in there. This let's show them this right here. Yeah. So they sold ice cream, and then there's like a little ice cream. And then there was someone hustling over here selling little toys and stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty dope. So I but think this is a bus stop of Mar Mario Gomez. Mar, Mar, Mar oh Ma Macario. Macario. Macario Gomez. Macario Gomez. And We're also, about so they have like a lot of shops minutes. here. They have they have like uh, artesania is like their own made house things. Like you can put it in your house decorations like like this right here. And, and we about thirty is, minutes from the beach more stores yeah Ooh, we should, like we came to this taco place look at that what's all that meat about oh wow pause what's all that meat about oh, that meat. Like the, that's the carniceria where you get your meat from home from your food yeah. and, and over here they probably they're making steak we ate at a taco spot right here last night yeah that's where cool. we ate last night one dollar tacos y'all super cheap they super were small cheap. but they get you filled but three you? tacos, I did good. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, three tacos you probably you need right. like five. For him, he probably will eat five. No, I had a torta, some, some chicken. No, I'm sandwich. saying, like, if you get tacos, if you were to get tacos. You know? But that, yeah, he ate a torta. But what, are, what, what do they have over here? They have food. Hey, Hustlin, look at this one. Every, it says every Sunday. Oh, we need some of that, baby. Ooh, raw coconuts pull up. on him. Yeah, we about to pull up on him. I'm about to back up on him. Look at him. What are you selling? Cause we buying it. Coconut water with milk. I mean, coconut milk. Yeah, we need one of those. Hola. Yes, sir. Run that. Have to record it. Yeah. Hola, amigo. How much? How much is the water of coco? I have de 30 to 50. Okay, 30 and 50. Okay. Now let's get the 50 one and split it. One, okay. So now you gotta tell me what you just said, because I know you know some Spanish. So he said uh, he has uh, 30 pesos or 50 pesos worth of. Um, yep, let's get the big prices. one. That's how we do it. And this is a hack that I got, y'all. The one that is just like the, uh, uh, just the coconut water or the one that is uh, coconut milk? Coconut milk. Okay. So what I like to, well, I'm gonna tell you I got the hack, man. So my girl, she, um, she knows Spanish, so. She helps us uh, out. Do lot. you want to change? Yeah. What do you mean? I don't know how much that is. That's a lot. <laughs> he can get a dub. I'll be tipping too well. Alright, y'all, they got a live um, church session. Going on. We're in downtown Tulum right now. What we doing is uh, we're making a quick stop at a nail salon. Yep. My nails are crusty. As you can see, her nails have been through it all. Man, it's shining out here. I can't even. Super shining out here. The sun is beaming. Hey, we grateful. Always. I can't see nothing, y'all. I need a haircut. They got a salon, I know that, but you think they got a barber? Uh, they do, but I don't know if you, if they know how to deal with your hair. 
<clears throat> I mean, I got the same here. I just know, make, need to make sure they know how to line up. So what did they say? He said it was this way. What did he say? Huh? Huh? What did he say the name of it was? Oh, a pre pre nail spa. That's what I told him. He didn't even know. Oops, I... We headed to go get our nails done. Downtown to the loom. They got the little hustlers. The little hustlers. Huh? How much of them? I said 150. I said 200. Taxing, ain't you? You want one? Yeah, I said almost $9. Oh, wait. Ask them what you got for five. We're here on the beach. We in Tulum at the hotel zone. And we riding up. I just wanted to give y'all a little view of what goes on out here. What they got going on. You know what I'm saying? From my view. This is a... Uh, so pretty much down this road, there's a ton of hotels and a ton of restaurants, a ton of bars, a ton of just stores in general. And I just wanted to give you all a view. So we're headed into the, um, we just came from downtown. It was the hotel, um, downtown, what was it? Downtown Tulum? Yeah, downtown Tulum, pretty much. And it was uh, about a 10 minute drive into here. And this is pretty much where like I said, all the hotels and all the, the clubs, the day clubs. clubs, nice, fancy, Maya expensive one. places is. But yeah, it's a, such a beautiful view, man. There's, um, if you get down to this area, they pretty much have everything you need. And I would say, like, personally, um, the best way to get around is, like, scooters and uh, ATVs. And the reason I say that is because it's easy to park those. You know what I'm saying? As far as parking goes, we got a rental because we're staying a little bit off of this area. But um, the parking always costs at least minimum like $10, $15. It's like 200 pesos last night. It really just depends because sometimes, <clears throat> I remember the first time we came here, it was about $20, $30 to park. So just keep that in mind. And it's super cheap to, um, you know, just get on a bike, get on a scooter because you can pretty much get everywhere up and down as you can see but uh check the view out this is very beautiful you know they got scooter rentals everywhere they got atv and bike rentals everywhere as you can see but um every hotel and restaurant has a unique vibe or look to it so you know we we only we haven't even tapped into 10 percent of what they have out here in tulum so far so we every time we come we we find a new place to eat we find a new um, hotel that looks dope, a new um, beach view, pretty much new everything. So, <clears throat> and a lot of it, a lot of the, uh, what we have found out was like, you know, through social media, TikTok, Instagram, you know, little short reel videos. But um, as you can see, man, it's just beautiful out here. It's a whole vibe. Let me show y'all. My camera person is texting. They're not worried about me. Yeah, She's fired. Sure. But as you can see, man, it's just beautiful. It's a vibe, vibe, vibe. They got plenty of stores. I would um, I would recommend you go shopping before you get here because a lot of this stuff is expensive. But as you can see, man, they on a hustle, man. They setting up shop everywhere. But this pretty much goes down for like five, six miles. Just full of, you know, full of uh, day clubs, restaurants, hotels. It's beautiful, man. And the artwork down here is... Look at the rabbit. It's just amazing. The artwork is it's truly a vibe. Look at this, man. Stores. Very expensive clothes, though. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, the clothes is expensive. Bring your own stuff. Yeah. You'll find some good finds, yeah, but you, it's going to be hard for you to find You go stuff. out here and shop, they think everybody rich. I said, no, sir. I need to find the cheap. I came to Mexico trying to trying to find something for the low ski. But yeah. I'm survive. 
this right here is like a um he said they play nothing but r b and hip-hop and afro beats this place right here it's right across the street from taboo taboo was over there oh taboo was expensive man they charged you a hundred well with, with me and my girl we had to pay uh, like uh 125 dollars each not each combined just to go into the spot entry fee yeah entry fee so um you know come down here with some bread you know to this area there is cheaper spots too this isn't just the um everything out here isn't just expensive you know there's different areas that you can go to like for example um downtown it was cheap you know what i mean we found some cheap places mm -hmm. and where we got our airbnb at there was cheap some... tacos one dollar tacos you know what i mean there, there's cheap places you just gotta yeah you, you know it, get out of this get, expensive place yeah to get some good food and cheap it's gonna be downtown but here like there's some there's some um beach clubs that don't have entry fees you just have to like know which ones they are yeah So this goes very far down. Yeah, like I said, this goes about five miles down. We just driving to show y'all, you know, what to expect. Little sushi bar right there. You know, this place is a vibe right here. It's a day club. See, we went in there yesterday. We didn't know what to expect. And little did we know we was going into a full-fledged day club. It felt like Vegas or something. But um, I'm gonna turn around. It's popping on a Sunday. I wanted to, I wanted to turn. I'm turning around, but I want to show y'all uh, this last little spot. It was the best restaurant I done had coming out here, but it was a vibe. We approaching it. Hidden Treehouse Hotel. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Cruising. Exchange. Yeah, most of the hotels here. Currency exchange, like, they'll exchange that money for you. They all like look like tree houses kind of vibe. Yeah. Like the hotels around here. It's a vibe, man. Every like I said, we haven't even ate most of these spots, but Yep. You know, they go to Policia. You gotta stay out of trouble and you ain't gotta worry about them. All the ice. Y'all do not have to worry about them folks. The Policia. Birds chirping. Yep. But this is our last day, so we about to turn around and go and grab something to um to eat. Breakfast and then head back to the head back. But yeah. Y'all pretty much see what's going on. We about to go catch some of this beach sand, tan, or whatever. Is it called tanning? We're about to go catch a tan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. This is a look. Peace, y'all. Oh, no, no, wait, wait. Not peace. I got to show y'all the best restaurant that we done had since we've been out here. Because, you know, we from America. This is it right here. Back. They give you a, a, they give you a great show. And it's right here. Great show. The ambiance. Everything about the food, this place. food. Uh, amazing. Good. Everything about that place Customer was good. Customer service, amazing. Customer service, food. It was. It wasn't. A, it wasn't that pricey. It wasn't that pricey. The bill came out to like one seventy. It was like thirty four hundred pesos. But we got a lot. We got mac and cheese. We got salmon. mashed potatoes. We got the salmon. We got steak. steak. We got um, the dessert. Um, we got an appetizer, calamari. We we did it up. The dessert, yeah. they make their own ice cream. Yeah, they make they make it. it from scratch. Yeah, I'm going to post yeah. a little clip of that. They make it from scratch. And we stayed here before the first time we came here. This is a vibe, too. Dang, look at that. We was that close to it, and we never been there. Yeah. Oh, and the best massages in the world is in there. All right, we got it here.
Okay, what we're at now is the big sculpture. The name of it is called the... Ven a la Luz. Ven a la Luz. And when you put that in, in the directions, it's going to send you downtown. So make sure you put in the Ahu Collection Hotel. <laughs> Ahu Hotel. Ahu, yeah. That's where it's at. You know what I'm saying? We got confused a little bit about it. That's the statue. And um, you got to pay to get in it. 60 pesos, so about $3. Per person, yeah, just to take a picture. To just to take a picture at this on famous. That, we're on the line, in line. What's it called? The famous, um, famous sculpture, harp sculpture. <laughs> Dope to take pictures in. It was made by an artist, and I don't know. I'm about to go into detail, now. but uh, yeah, just for anybody out there that wants to know about the harp sculpture, <laughs> I take pictures at. This is where it's at. Uh, who, it's not in hotel. downtown. It's by all the hotels. Right by the okay. ocean. By the ocean. Right by the ocean. Fun fact. And you gotta, we recommend that you come here. What time is it? Right come now? here early. It's about 10 o'clock right now. I would say come here about 9. It opens at 9. It's 9 to 7. 9 to 7. I've seen it as we're walking. Yeah, so, so get here early. Early so you don't have to go through all of this line. We're yep, gonna be long here. line. They said about 30 minute wait, so it's not that bad. But you know with females and how they take pictures. It might be longer. I mean? It might be longer. <laughs> All right, bye. I'm over there. What's up, y'all? So we here at this famous statue. Uh, yeah, I'm about to be taking a hundred pictures. That's what boyfriends girls. do, right? You know, they, they finesse us. They finesse us. When you're in a relationship, to be a photographer, but um, that's part of the game, I guess. So we over here at this hotel. <laughs> they charged us to get in, and um, yeah. We about to see what it does. Oh, we about to get pictures. All right, so we here at the Ahua Hotel. We got a little breakfast. And, um, so I got the fruit bowl, and then I got this omelet with, um, I don't know what the hell that is on the side. That's an avocado, like an avocado flower. Avocado flour. I got chilaquiles. I need real food. I don't need no flour. <laughs> I mean, it looked good for a picture or something, but um, yeah, we're at the Ahu Hotel. Tell me what your first bite is. Let's see. Let me see what that first bite looking like. Ooh, it's, it's, like it's like very saucy. I never had chilaquiles like this. Mm -hmm. Tell like me what like it's hitting soup. like. Tell me what it's hitting like. Is it, is it, is it thing? To me. It's alright. It's alrighty? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I guess it's alright. I'm gonna take a bite in mind, y'all. I'm gonna let y'all know what it is. Mm. So we got some mushrooms in there. Let's see what this looking like. Mmm. It's different. Caballero? Yeah. That's it. It's different. And I think it's more so looks. You know what I'm saying? I had better, but um, yeah, and we're here. Beautiful, beautiful um, scenery though with the ocean waves hitting. Survive. Well, there you have it, y'all.